Good morning. If you have decided to study to become a professional hypnotherapist, keep watching our training videos on hypnosis. Hypnosis is a powerful technique with which you can help and improve the quality of life of a large number of future patients. Remember, read the description of this video where you can find a link to free training classes on clinical hypnosis and also you can download several ebooks also free. Let's continue by learning the Watkins or Postural Swing Method. This is based on a similar strategy to the backwards falling procedures, but differs from this in that it is not only produced by the force of suggestion of the operator but also by the back and forth movements requested of the subject. We will place the subject with feet together, arms hanging loosely along the body, then asking him to close his eyes, while making his balance more unstable by tilting his head gently backwards, as if he were looking at imaginary points on the ceiling. Now, take a deep breath and relax. Stand as you are, as you continue to relax, loosen up, very good. Now, when I tell you to, begin to lean forward until I tell you to stop. Let your body sway by inertia, back and forth. Start now to swing forward, let yourself fall. In that case, I will hold you. Let your body swing now backwards, forward again. Now, take a deep breath and relax. Stand as you are, as you continue to relax. Loosen up, very good. Now, when I tell you to begin to lean forward until I tell you to stop, let your body sway by inertia, back and forth. Start now to swing forward. Let yourself fall. In that case, I will hold you. Let your body swing now backwards, forwards again. Now backwards. You are doing very well. Again, forwards. Once more, backwards. Continue like this, by breathing deeply, more forwards, more backwards. Breathe in as your body leans forward. Breathe out as you drop backward. Breathe in, release the air, forward. Breathe in again, backward, release the air. More forward, more backward. The subject will begin to feel a certain disorientation, which will increase by frequently changing the rhythm of the swing, generally a tendency to swing backwards more intensely than forwards, will arise spontaneously. At that moment we will continue our suggestions, preferably by strengthening this backward movement in the following way. Keep swinging. More backwards, backwards, forwards, backwards again, backwards, forwards, backwards. You are falling backwards. Feel how the rocking takes you more and more intensively backwards. Fall, fall backwards, fall backwards, fall backwards. The hypnotist must always be aware when dealing with inductions whose outline is based on failing procedures of the possible sudden collapse of the subject, as we have described above, can be really unexpected. Kroger's Confusion Method A confusion method described by Kroger which also follows the general strategy of this type of technique. The subject is asked to stand up and close his eyes. The hypnotist will place his two hands on the subject's shoulders, making him describe a circular movement, for example, forcing him to make turns around himself 
while asking him to count down from the number 100 to 1. Now put your feet together. Let yourself be carried away by the spinning movement you are making. Keep counting. Stop paying attention to my words. Your pupils are rotated upwards and you are relaxing more and more intensely. You are relaxing deeply, experiencing feelings of tranquility and calm, experiencing sensations of tranquility and deep relaxation, as if you are floating peacefully in a sea of waves of relaxation. Keep counting backwards, keep counting numbers backwards, soon your arm will begin to rise. It will rise more and more and upwards, higher. As your arms rises, you continue to turn in on yourself. Keep counting. As your arm rises, you relax deeper, entering into a deep, unpleasant state. Deeper, more pleasant. Keep counting. As your arm rises higher and higher, rising into the air. Once we detect confusion and relaxation in the subject, we must subject him to a wave of suggestions without pause of any kind until we manage to provoke ocular occlusion and subsequent hypnotic sleep. Once again, it should be noted that the use of disorientation techniques requires a great deal of experience on the part of the operator. Only this practical knowledge can lead to the successful conclusion of an induction of this type. Technique of confusion by rising and lowering the arms. Like all confusion systems, this one uses a technique that can be more or less traditional sprinkled with rapid orders given to be cancelled or reversed almost immediately, at the same time as the subject is asked to perform various tasks. Such an accumulation of tasks to be carried out baffles the most analytical minds, as they end up overflowing their critical capacities. We must remember when using a confusion technique that if we offer two orders in a row in the context of a single sentence, only one of these suggestions can grab the subject's conscious attention. Now close your eyes and place your arms stretched out in front of you. Imagine that your right arm is holding a heavy book, a large volume from an old bookcase a large volume of an old encyclopedia. Your left hand, however, has tied at the wrist a large helium-filled balloon, pulling it upwards. Your right arm weighs enormously under the weight of the encyclopedia. Your left arm is raised upwards, light, lightly dragged by the upward force of the globe. Your right arm is very light, your left arm is heavy and falling slowly. Your left arm is falling downwards, while your left arm is very light. Your right arm is heavy, your left arm is falling downwards, while your left arm is light. Your left arm is heavy, the balloon rises upwards, your left arm heavy, very heavy, it's rising, it rises higher and higher, lift your arms upwards, like this, very good, now lower both arms, let them fall heavy, now raise, right and left, very well, the muscles of your arms are very stiff and high, your arms they are high, and stiff heart as still, heart as still. The contradictions which are observed in the verbalization are not mistakes. 
they are described in the way they should be used, so that the subject uses his conscious filters to think that we are making mistakes when giving him orders, which in short increase the confusion. Once a certain cataleptic rigidity has been achieved through the use of these methods, we will continue with the deepening, starting to introduce from this point suggestions of sleep and depth. Slay technique. Like most of the induction systems in this group, this is a technique that lacks autotorian features and is therefore suitable for subjects with a certain resistance to imperative commands. Once progressive relaxation has been applied to the subject, we will continue the verbalization in this way. While your mind deeply relaxed, we are going to carry out a small exercise of imagination. Perhaps you remember one of the classrooms you went to when you were little. Remember the class. Imagine that you can mentally go back to that classroom and that you find yourself in front of the blackboard, a big blackboard. Now take a white chalk. Remember the white powder between your fingers. Now draw in the center of the blackboard, a big circle. Now you can imagine that big white circle down on a big blackboard as you continue to relax. Very relaxed, deeply relaxed. Every moment that passes you feel more and more relaxed. Now I'm going to tell you letters of the alphabet. Imagine that with the white chalk you write them inside the circle. Then when I tell you you erase the letter with the eraser. When you do it with each letter you erase, you will deepen your relaxation even more. Now write the letter S inside the circle. You can now mentally observe the letter S inside the white chalk circle drawn on the large blackboard. Now take the eraser and erase the letter. Feel yourself falling into a deep relaxation as you sink into a very deep state of relaxation. With every letter you erase, you fall and fall even deeper. Now write the letter U. You can now mentally observe the letter U inside the white chalk circle drawn on the large blackboard. Now take the eraser and erase the letter. As you erase it, you feel yourself falling into a deep relaxation. As you sink into a very deep state of relaxation, with each letter you erase, you fall and fall deeper. You fall and fall even deeper. Now write the letter E. You have a white letter E written inside the circle drawn on the blackboard. Observe it in your mind's eye. Now take the eraser and erase the letter. Your relaxation now becomes very intense. So intense that it develops you. So intense that a pleasant, deep, sleepy feeling envelops you. Now write the letter N. Notice its shape. Now, erase it with the eraser, and as you do so, you feel how the sleepness transforms into a deep sleep, intense and pleasant. Now write inside the circle the letter O. Observe it. See it in your mind's eye. Now erase it as you sink into a deep sleep very deep, deeper and deeper and deeper. Now erase the circle, erase the blackboard from your mind and forget about it as you go 
deeper and deeper into a sleep, feeling waves of relaxation which run through your whole body. Sleep and rest, 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 rest. Methods of the pressure of the eye sockets. This is an excellent method for the provocation of instantaneous hypnotic states. Its use requires some practice, especially to locate the pressure points in the eye sockets of the subject. This method tends to provoke very deep states very quickly. Placing the subject standing in the same position as if we were going to carry out a test of falling backwards, we ask them to close their eyelids, positioning ourselves at this back. Place the left hand on the top of the subject's head, while with the index finger and thumb of the right hand, exert light pressure on the upper part of the eye sockets. This action generates a sensation of momentary loss of consciousness. While continue to exert gentle but firm pressure on these points inwards and towards the roots of the nose, we proceed with the left hand to move the subject's head gently in one direction and in the other, suggesting that the subject's neck is becoming loose and slack. After a few seconds of insisting on the suggestion of slackness and loss of muscular control, the subject is told that on the count of three, his legs and in general all the muscles of the body will fall. The operator must be attentive, as in most cases, the individual's collapse is very rapid, showing signs of a certain lack of muscular control. Glass skull method. We place the subject standing in front of us in a relaxed position. We then place the tip of our index finger gently on a point between his two eyebrows, while we suggest the following. Relax and try to focus all your attention on the pressure of my index finger on your forehead. Imagine, meanwhile, that your head is transparent and that you can see my finger through your skull. Now turn your eyes gently upwards and observe it. When the subject gently turns his eyes to see our fingers, we remain silent for a few seconds and continue. I'm going to slowly move my finger in a straight line over your head to the crown of your head. Follow it with your eyes while imagining that you can see it through your transparent head. Now, at this point, we start the movement of the finger slowly upwards, passing over the forehead and increasing the pressure progressively. The subject will turn his eyes upwards, forcing them more and more to follow the ascension of the finger over his head. At the moment of maximum ocular revulsion, the moment of dissociation will occur, which we will take advantage of, to give a precise and imperative suggestion such as dream. At the same time, as we sadly close his eyes with our hands and then we bombard him. Catalepsy of the arm. We have described the achievement of arm catalepsy as a method of deepening the hypnotic trance. But some operators, especially show hypnotists, use a similar technique to establish the induction. As is to be expected, it is also an instantaneous technique, the application of which has all the conditions of these methods. It use requires absolute firmness and an attitude of complete confidence and security. 
addressing the subject with an absolutely determined attitude without showing any kind of doubt will raise one of his arm to a horizontal position and stretching it gently from the wrist will say to him close your eyes and focus all your attention on your arm it is getting stiff hard like a steel bar your arm is stiff and hard like a steel bar stiffer your arm is made of steel your shoulder is totally immobilized it is metallic made of steel your shoulder and your arm it is so stiff and hard it is impossible for you to lower it the more you try to lower it the stiffer and higher it will stay the more pressure you try to exert downwards your arm will get harder and stay higher than before try it now the more you try the stiffer your arm gets try it again it is impossible stiff hard totally stiff now stop trying it is simply impossible take a deep breath now keep breathing deeply as a deep drowsiness comes over you you fall asleep you are entering a deep state of sleep your arm is loosening as you sink into a deep sleep more and more intense and deeper and deeper sleep keep sinking when you sleep is complete and deep just at the moment when you reach a complete and pleasant state of sleep your arm will fall into a heavy and deeply relaxed state the stiffness of your arm is transforming into an intense trance state as you fall asleep your arm becomes looser and looser looser and looser as you sleep becomes deeper and deeper very deep deeper and deeper and deeper now sleep sleep deeply as your arm progressively relaxes this technique can be shortened considerably depending on the subject's response in fact the second block of suggestions only tries to deepen the induction by conditioning the progressive relaxation of the arm to an increase in the depth of the subject's state head turning method as it is well known the technique of instant hypnosis are not applicable to all subjects and the success or failure in their application depends on a series of factors such as the person's suggestibility expertise and prestige the expertise and prestige of the hypnotist this is a method that can be considered as authoritarian paternal the successive turns in one direction or the other that are impressed on the subject's head together with the suggestions of an imperative tone create a state of dissociation and a notable deepening placing one hand on the subject's forehead and the other on the nape of his neck we turn his head slowly from left to right and vice versa while at the same time we rotate it slightly from top to bottom while we say to him close your eyes you are going to feel a little confusion in your mind while I turn your head it is a sensation of instability of lack of balance now breathe deeply more deeply breathe while you continue to sleep more and more deeply sleep more and more deeply sleep deeply your body relaxes deeply 
Feel your arms heavy, your legs heavy. Now you are deeply rested. You fall asleep. Fall deeply asleep. The more you turn your head, your sleep state is deeper, more intense. You fall asleep. Your muscles become slack and heavy. Now you enter a deep, unpleasant state. Sleep. Sleep deeply. With each breath you take, you fall into an even deeper state. Breathe deep. Sleep. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Very deep sleep. Hypnotist finger fixation method. A variant of the fixation method is that which is carried out by asking the subject to observe a finger attentively. Generally, we'll use the index finger, which we'll place at about 30 centimeters from the eyes of the person to be induced. Watch my finger carefully. In a moment, I will start to move it from left to right. You will follow with your eyes in all its movements. We begin to move the finger, as we have said, from left to right, bringing it a little closer to the eyes of the subject. Slowly, to provoke visual fatigue more quickly while we continue. Continue to look at my finger without losing sight of it for, a, for an instant. My finger swings from left to right, from right to left. As my finger moves and swings from one direction to the other, your eyes tire more rapidly. Your eyes get tired more quickly. It is difficult to keep your eyes open without feeling tired. They are getting heavy. Your eyelids are getting heavier and heavier. Your tired and weary eyes are closing. The more you try to keep them open, the heavier and heavier they become. The heavier and heavier they become. Now you feel a sense of drowsiness. Your mind wants to rest. And for that reason, you are feeling your eyes more and more tired and fatigued. You feel a great desire to sleep. Your eyes are very, very fatigued. They close. Your eyes close as my finger comes closer to your forehead. Sleep overcomes you. You fall asleep. Your eyes close. My finger is about to touch your forehead. And it does. You enter into a deep sleep. My finger now touches your forehead. Close your eyes. Now you sink into a deep sleep as your eyelids close tightly, tightly closed, feeling a deep sleep, very deep, deeper and deeper and deeper. If you're interested in learning more about clinical hypnosis, watch our next video, Rapid Hypnosis, Induction Techniques, Part 3. Remember, read the description of this video where you can find a link to free training classes on clinical hypnosis. And also, you will be able to download several free books. If you have questions, ask them in the comments area. On this topic and many others, we will talk about in the channel and in the videos that we will publish. So if you are interested, do not miss our next videos. Thank you very much.